you're having a hard time getting your kids to eat cooked veggies, I've got a super simple recipe that they are going to love. Honey Spoon Glazed Carrots. It's a snack to make and it is delicious. First, I'm going to take my carrots and I'm going to give them a quick steam in the microwave. While those are cooking, I'm going to get some butter and a hot pan to get it nice and melted. Once the carrots are ready, I'm going to toss them in the pan with the butter, add a drizzle of honey, and some cinnamon, make them on the pan with the and some grated orange zest. So there you have it. Honey Cinnamon Glazed Carrots. You're going to love it and I'm sure your kids are going to love it too. For this little recipe, check out Cooking from the Heart on Cox 11 or Cox 11. Look at those babies, how delicious and just melting in your mouth do they look? Oh, they're just amazing. You guys have to try and make them. Alrighty, the next recipe are for you fruit lovers. I did, I did want to be fair, I didn't want to do only chocolate and that type of thing, so I am incorporating a delicious fruit recipe. It is honey roasted or honey glazed pears with walnuts on top. Yeah, just take that in for a second. I love pears no matter what, but then when you add honey on it and it just gets caramelized in honey and then you add caramelized walnuts on there, oh, 
Let's jump right in. I cannot wait to show you guys. The ingredients you're going to need are cinnamon, honey, and walnuts. And of course, the two pears. Here I am just cutting the pears in half and pitting them. I'm kind of putting or making a place to put the walnuts and a bit of the honey. Grabbing a cookie sheet and placing your two pears on there and I'm just sprinkling a dash of cinnamon. I'm actually using a little bit more than a dash because cinnamon to me is just so good, especially with this uh, mixture that I'm using. Next I'm adding the walnuts. You can be as generous or not as generous as you want with this and also if you don't like walnuts you can use any other type of nut. The last step is adding your raw honey. I think the next time I make it, I would put a little bit more honey just because it makes it so delicious and crispy after it bakes. After that, you put it in the oven and bake for 30 minutes. That is all you have to do. You alright Hazel? Right Sam. Alright, um, I was thinking we could cook some burgers today, so what I'll do is I'll take this lean mince and I'll cut it up a bit to make it a bit easier to mix, and in the meantime if you could kick, cook the um, spring onions, get back together so we can mix it all together. I'm just sticking it in the bowl so we can mix it. You just drop them to the end. Okay, what I'm also going to do is stick in some carrot. It's one of five a day, so it makes it a bit healthier. Also, stick in some onion. Um, do two more. Okay, the last thing I need to do. Just whisk an egg, stick it in so it will stick. Cool, you want to bring that over here. So what we're going to do is stick in some garlic and stick in some spring onion. Taste and flavouring. And now we're just going to give that a quick mix. I'm going to stick in an egg for it to stick together and I'll begin mixing it. Out, take a bit off, form it into a burger. Okay, I'm just going to grab a plate. First thing I'm going to do is wash my hands. Just turn on the cooker. Put a 
of low fleet. Put some blue in there, a bit of oil. So whilst I'm cooking those, you want to make a salsa? Yeah. So what are you using to make the salsa? I've got some red peppers, onions, tomatoes, a chilli, which I only use a little bit of because it just gives it a bit of a kick. If you like hot food, you can always add a bit more. And a lime to adds a little bit more flavour to it. Cool. So these take about five minutes on each side. A bit of mess will tidy up a little bit. Right, these burgers are cooking nicely. How's the salsa coming? Um, it's going good. Can you get me a bowl, please? Yep. This is the closest thing I've got to the bowl, if that's alright. Thank you. Okay, while these are here, I'm just going to put the burgers over. Very nice one. Okay, I'm just going to get to the rolls. We're using wholemeal rolls and we've got some low fat flora butter. So you're just mixing it together now? Yeah, just mixing it and then adding the lime and then it's done. It's much nicer making your own salsa than buying one because it's a lot healthier and it's a lot fresher. One more mix and then it's done. There we go. Then we're going to check how well these burgers are done. Just use a bit more cooking fruit. That's done. Yep, it looks good to me. Turn that off. So we've got some burgers. Purchased all the game, call the cops on me. Hey, hell, not eating, come and get. 